Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Pleased to see so many of you tonight. I don't know what the farm is here for. Man, there's other four, six old retired farmers in here. I'm Ken. Straight away from the wrong heaps. Heist down here. Maybe after a bit of fish. Oh no. But we welcome them. And I'm not going to bother for Clarence's glasses as I did talk about last year. I borrowed Stewart's. Where is it? <laughs> I left mine again. But that's enough of the frivolities. Thank you for coming. Any of you that are visitors, spending a, an idle weekend, wouldn't it be lovely to have an idle weekend? I would love an idle weekend. But I can't. For those of you who have just spent a, a holiday here, welcome to Steers, not Stairs, Steers Methodist Chapel. You're going to have a real night tonight amongst these folks. They're going to lift that roof. I see the minister's up at the back. I hope he's been able to get you to put your insurance policies up. <laughs> or else, else they'll take the roof off tonight. I am sure they'll take the roof off tonight. They're mean. They're just itching to go. So welcome again. Welcome the locals, welcome the visitors, <coughs> welcome our Steers Choir show, but especially welcome our, our friends from Farley. They gave us a, a lovely time a year ago. You can't believe it's a year, but they gave us a lovely time, and we're going to praise God. We're not just going to have a fun time, uh, an evening of entertainment, although it can be that. We're going to praise God. I noticed before Tom sat down, that is really what Easter is all about, isn't it? There are a lot of meanings to Easter. But the central thing is surely the cross. God saw of the world, but he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should have everlasting life. And there's a lovely hymn in the Methodist book, the latest, the newer book, says the great love of God is revealed in and through and by the Son who came to this earth to redeem everyone. Everyone who will believe in his name, everyone who accepts his teachings, who believes his claims seeks to aspire to all the great things that the Christian faith offers for men and women like you and me. Tonight we're going to sing his praise. We're going to sing the songs of Zion. Well, these gentlemen are. I've been told to keep quiet. I'm talking to this thing. Tom has to keep quiet as well. He's still here. We're going to sing the songs of Zion and we're going to begin as we sing the first hymn on the sheet, And Can It Be. I'll not give the verse out. We know how it, how it runs, and can it be? <laughs>
once again we can gather together in this special way, this special time in our church year. We give you thanks for drawing us here, perhaps because of many different reasons, for many different reasons. But may our prime reason be that we are so keenly aware of of what this time of the year means. We've reminded ourselves over a number of weeks as we've drawn near to the Easter story. We've seen depicted on television and in other, through other mediums, we've seen that the story of the cross unfold once again. And we give thee thanks that although all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin are death, is death, yet the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. This same Jesus whom we worship tonight, <coughs> We praise thy name. May our songs of praise rise up to thee and be accepted, because we ask it in his name. He who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us.
<coughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you something. We went to Carly Mow two or three weeks ago, and we uh, did our bit, but there was a deathly silence. And John, the choir master, said to me, he says, tell him, Tom, him up there doesn't mind if the clown <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he won't. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's got us off to a fair decent start. I just talked to one of my friends from Filey before we kicked off, and he said, he said, didn't time soon this past, didn't it? I said, I have to look at what I've gone down the beck in the last year, and I hope we'll be here to see a lot more water go down the beck in the future, because it really is a pleasure to have our friends from Filey, yeah? So we're going to carry on with the steersmen, and they're going to sing Beyond the Sea.
of my link pies to one of our <laughs> choir members, and I'm sure it makes him in better voice. <laughs> <laughs> so we will all know the next one, ladies and gentlemen, since Christ my soul. <coughs> Christ my soul, from sin set free. Thank you, Tom. Before we 
ask the parliamentary singer, I'd just like to speak on their behalf and say how happy we are to be here tonight and how happy we are always to be at stage. It's always a great welcome and I hope that they think that when they come to finally they get a great welcome too because I do feel that we have more and more in common as the years go by. We're enjoying each other's company and we're also enjoying very much their singing. So now we're going to start ourselves. <laughs>
Again, going back to when we were bairns, the last two or three, eight or night, you will know what I'm going when I mention it. Uh, there was two, two sailors from Stairs who were lost overboard. And a week or two afterwards, down at Sunday school, the superintendent said, you can pick your own name. And the son of one of these sailors he picked far out on the desolate billow. There will be a few in here who remember it. I'm sure Robert and Harry and one or two more remember it. But it's a verse that's always stuck with me and I'd like just to give you the first verse of it. Far out on the desolate billow the sailor sails the sea. Alone with the night and the tempest where countless dangers be. Yet never alone is the Christian who lives by faith and prayer. For he has a friend unfailing and God is everywhere. And now finally Jesus is calling. <coughs> Christ said it, 
the 99 are safely in the fold. The 999 you are in the fold, but three of us. <laughs> Don't they acknowledge our sinfulness? And yet there is more rejoicing in heaven over three sinners that repent than over 99 just one. But that's enough of my kind of theology. We're going to sing together now, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. <laughs> Marvellous 
the things that come from men's fishermen have used them to name the cobbles. We are the pilot means spheres down. And the next one is called the choir of to sing is called Blue Galilee. And there'll be again, Frank, you'll remember. When we were bears, there was a cobble laid up the back. She must have been a plusher because she was a bit bigger than the average, and they called her Galilee. That's some wonderful names for cobbles like True Loaf, True Vine, Provider, <coughs> and as I say, Galilee. We used to lake on it, Joe, but probably you did when you were a bear up the back. <coughs> oh no, that was it for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's young as me, so. Anyway, John, Blue Galilee. Shores where heavy forms 
second one for fighting is the Shining Shore. Joe was talking about the sea. I talk about troubles and ships, more mainly ships. But they don't know a lot about fishing, do we, Frank? No, I didn't. That's right. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is, I have here the little boat which the British Sailor Society gave to people like me when they come aboard the ships and fought. The great thing about it is on the front page it shows a picture of the sea. And if you turn to the back, you've got some of George Yowes, just ready to laugh. So right off, Stuart, the shine the shining shore. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, we're getting near the end. And the next one is the last one on the sheet. Whether you get a bonus, it's up to the two players. But it is fierce and wild, the tempest rages round our elder's farm. <coughs>
about a, a wonderful night, I'm really. Yeah, yeah. Really wonderful. I don't think they knew they could sing as well as that. <laughs> You've shown that you're appreciated by your clapping. A little bit irreverent, but Christianity isn't all long, straight faces. It used to be years ago, when you couldn't go in the back or on the sand or whistle on the Sunday when I was at school. And incidentally, Silver Line had a yellow plank around her, and she? Straight. A straight. Uh, straight. <laughs> <laughs> I know one of the plants around her was yellow when I was at school before the war. And she come for folly. Well, we have an affinity of spirit even among cobbled. And George there will tell us who sailed in the before the war. I know old Addy was one of them, wasn't he? He was skipper. And old bot. Old bot. And Dickie bot. For those who don't understand that language, well, ask somebody else. How are those names? Just bring back memories, don't they? The mystery of the old boat with half a plank and kicked out when we were little lads and used to play in the back. Silver line, what else could be mentioned? Galilee. The Galilee. That was before my time. <laughs> you <laughs> let yourself in for that, didn't you? Long time before our time. Yeah, <laughs> just talking the other day, John. Yes, no, today was about the silver line. Yeah. 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 About the silver line to a lady, and uh, she said they were going to do it up. It's somewhere that I don't know if it's Whitby, it didn't far, is it? No, 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 no. it must be Whitby then. It's yeah. a Whitby. And then uh, the, the uh, council are buying it, and they're going to do it up. That's right. There you are. But yeah. it may have been the same. And am I remembering right? Did she sell her the nose down a bit? <laughs> <laughs> We've had a wonderful night again, and I'm going to do something that I wasn't supposed to do, I never asked him. I'm going to ask the Reverend Jim Platton to pronounce the benediction. Mr. Platton. We command to you, O oh God, all whom we love, all whom we ought to love. And all that we have done in this day, seeking that in all things your will may be done and your name may be glorified. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this night and always. Amen. Amen.